Right now at 5, we're tracking a powerful line of storms barreling into our area, bringing powerful winds and pounding rain. Get ready. If you're in Charlotte, this is a nasty storm. Let's go right to first warn Doppler radar. Look at all of this lightning. Let me show you how much lightning is inside this storm. I mean, it's just unreal. 2100 cloud to ground lightning strikes just in that storm. Get away from the outside walls. Get away from windows. If you have the kids, get them away, especially if there's a big tree in your yard near one corner of the house. Go to the other side of the house because this is bringing down a lot of trees and power lines. All right, thanks for staying with us, everybody. As we monitor those storms quickly sweeping through our area, we are taking a live look right now from our tower cam in Concord. That thick, massive cloud just looming over the sky there. Now, Concord, the leading edge has just made it there. We've got this live shot. Um, unbelievable wind and rain has just moved in there. Look at the and look at the sideways rain at the QT there. Look at those trees. Now this is some pretty strong winds. This is almost like a wet downburst, microburst we call these. It looks like a waterfall coming down. So this is a live picture from Concord. This is the leading edge just moving in there. Look at the rain, folks, and watch the trees. Now this is the exact type of weather that's moving into the northern end of uh, Mecklenburg County. It's gonna move into the uptown vicinity here before I would say 525 to 530 or so. So if you live in Mecklenburg County, you need to be thinking about what you're gonna do if you lose power one and two trees start coming down. Look at these trees. They're bending over. You see all the traffic out there. They have their lights on again, rush hour time here. This is bad news for folks that are trying to get home right now because this is gonna slow everybody down. Let me go into the radar. You see the radar on the left there. There's the picture. The view you're looking at on the right is actually just outside of Concord. Just relentless wind, it's amazing. It's just, it's actually picking up guys, watching that right now. Wow. We were here as that storm uh moved in about 20 minutes long and joining me now is Shirley Carr. Uh, Shirley, uh, thanks for joining uh, joining us and uh, we can see the damage to the apartment complex. Tell us what happened here. They kept on flashing the, the one across the TV, it's a bad thunderstorm coming, so the power went out and I, I lit a candle, the whole tree that fell in the apartment. A lot of tree damage. Just to give you an idea, take a look behind me. You can see this crew from the Statesville Fire Department. We ran into them. They were on their way to another scene when they ran into this one. They couldn't get through the road because you see this massive tree down. There are power lines down along with it. We understand this is actually the mayor's mother's house. Just had a chance to talk to these firefighters. They have been going nonstop, they tell me, since 4 o'clock. When the storm blew through here, it blew through hard. It blew through fast. This lieutenant's been with the fire department a long time. He says he worked hard. Hurricane Hugo, and this is the worst thing he's seen since then, describing the massive damage really across Statesville. Tonight, nailed by storms. A powerful derecho brings hail and winds of up to 70 miles an hour. Trees down everywhere. Then you just hear the like a lot of crack, crack, boom, and bam, there it is. Tonight, from the ground to the air, our team of reporters is looking out for you. Kind of like a tornado. Down trees, branches, and power lines. For Mike Udy, this is the second time in a week he's cleaning up. Time to move. But now all the trees are gone, so I'm good. Don't have to clean the gutters. Mother Nature packed quite a punch. 9,000 customers lost power citywide. That's just about the time Shirley Carr heard a massive tree come crashing into her apartment. I just had lit a, a candle because the power had went out. As I sit there one in five minutes, the whole tree just fell down. I ran out the back door. The Weaver family was forced to suspend their trip today to the Outer Bay. Half a dozen trees fell on top of their home like dominoes. The winds were horrendous and, and they were it was blowing everything sideways. And winds came down through from the, up on the street and, and just knocked all the trees over in the house. Now the only injury we've heard of tonight is one person in Stanley County trying to move a tree. A lot of trees were down, especially in Albemarle. We and I Albemarle. went up an air star tonight after the worst part of the storms passed to give you a bird's eye view of the extensive damage. As we approached Albemarle, it was easy to see this community got hammered. Yeah, we're circling around the area of Stanley Regional Hospital and the neighborhoods around this area, you just look left and right and there are trees down everywhere. We're counting at least 12 that we can count from up here. With straight line winds reaching 60 miles an hour or more, the storm's path tore through North 6th Street and East. Where we can see some very heavy damage in this particular neighborhood. 
Cars came to a standstill, blocked by debris. Wow, would you take a look at this? This is the area of North 2nd and Montgomery Streets here. Uh, what appears to be the cable holding up those traffic lights have just collapsed, and the result, you can see those traffic lights just in pieces in the middle of the road, also a, a broken telephone pole. NBC Charlotte reporter Diane Gallagher continues our coverage tonight live at Charlotte Douglas Airport. Diane, the storm is still causing delays, I understand. Well, you know, Dave, this is actually one of the busiest times I've ever seen Charlotte Douglas this late at night, and that's because a lot of those flights that were delayed because of the storm earlier are just now starting to come in. At one point today, you can actually see the lines of people and the cars coming. At one point today, Charlotte Douglas was shut down completely for about an hour to all arriving flights because of cloud to ground lightning. But you didn't have to be boarding a plane to know and have the impact of this storm in Charlotte. The storm just as loud as it was strong. Actually, it was just like winds at first. Then it went from winds to the uh, hail and rain. And you just hear like a lot of crack, crack, boom, and bop, there it is. That wind. It scared me. I was just shaking. The Sunfest tents at St. John Newman's Catholic Church may have survived, but tree after tree. This boom. After tree did not. One crashed through Sedgefield Middle School in South End. We were babysitting the grandbabies, and the neighbor called and said, you got a tree down. Dozens uprooted, like this one off Cookendale, which took out power lines and a fence, but spared this couple's home. Lucky, yes. Across town, Vaughn Connor's home didn't fare as well. The tree limb right here fell on top of the trailer, tore the whole porch off. The derecho moved through Charlotte during rush hour, causing traffic nightmares, knocking out power. Real cracking noise. It was a scary kind of noise, and they heard like a boom. And knocking down trees across many major roads, blocking neighborhood entrances, preventing people from getting home. This really is the kind of thing that we are seeing all through downtown Statesville. We are talking major trees taken out by this storm. Also power lines. You can see right here they are dangling across the road. In our travels though in the last hour or so all across Statesville we're seeing giant power lines completely blocking major roads through downtown Statesville. We're also seeing these giant trees but what's so incredible even here in this location the tree narrowly missed actually landing on the house and that's pretty much the story we're hearing all across Statesville. It was pretty bad. Uh, I was coming from the western part of town and the wind hit. I could see the cell and uh, I would say the winds were 60, 70 miles an hour and I said, gosh, I might be in a tornado and I drive a Suburban and my Suburban actually lifted up on two wheels. I slowed way down and I saw a large tree fall across the interstate and hit a car. And so I knew I was, I need, I need, just need to slow down and get back home. Now the storm brought a lot of hail too, so check it out. Yeah, you can certainly hear it. Pea-sized hail hit Indian Trail right about 6.30 this evening. Your Kelly Fitzsimmons sent us this video of it falling on her backyard furniture. This is, by the way, north of Highway 74. Now, it was banging down on the hood of photojournalist Ken Shermer's live truck. This was on Remount Road and South Boulevard, just south of Uptown this evening. Meantime, quarter-sized hail rained down on Thompson Road in Mint Hill. It doesn't sound like any of the hail, though, did any major damage. Viewers sent us dozens of pictures and videos. We posted a slideshow on WCNC.com. You'll also find raw video of the damage and a timeline of the storm in pictures taken from Twitter.